Uh, now, one thing that we are uh, definitely recommending on page 11, if you scroll down, uh, credit card debt. Very expensive, as you know, as a lot of people know, um, it's very high interest, some of the highest interest uh, consumer debt you'll find. Um, it looks like Springfield National Bank, these 18.25%, uh, um, very high, and uh, you know, there's, there's a balance on that. University Bank MasterCard, 16.75%, very high as well. Not quite as high as that first visa, though. We need to get rid of these. Um, and so what we're proposing immediately is to pay those off. Um, and of course, not to incur further um, balances that then um, get incurred an in interest charge on those credit cards. Um, that would increase cash flow because, of course, you're not then paying the interest on that, and that interest is not going uh, anywhere really. I mean, you're getting no benefit for that, um, especially when you have the assets to pay these things off immediately. That's really one of our priorities here: is to get this credit card um, debt taken off. Um, so that is, that's one of the things we're proposing that immediately you, uh, you pay these off with the cash balances that you currently maintain. Now, one of the things that we're trying to go for here in your plan um, is to maintain an emergency fund. Uh, while that's very important, uh, this too is important and what we're going to do, as, as you'll see, is that we we're proposing to pay these off um, and, um, and to uh, then slowly rebuild um, the emergency uh, fund to, from the three months that it will become, once we pay off the debt that we're proposing to pay off, back up to six months. Currently, you have five months. Um, but again, this is a process really of reallocation to, um, uh, to maximize your resources. Now, you know, credit cards aren't all evil. Uh, well, uh, it really depends. None of them are really evil. It just depends on how uh, you use them. Now, there are some, we have some good um, suggestions here on page 11 for um, some credit cards that you could use as long as you pay them off. I mean, it, they actually are a really good deal. Uh, um, you can get uh, good cash back on, um, on purchases. Um, you can get, of course, you know, everybody knows about the miles with credit cards that you can get um, and, you know, rewards, points, gift cards, things like that. So as long as you pay these things off um, and, and use them in that way, it's a great deal. Um, but if you just leave the balances to accrue every every month and, and not, and, you know, pay off the minimum, um, you're going to be swimming in, in interest, um, and uh, it's really going to eat into your financial ability to do much of anything. Um, so that's that's one of the reasons that we're, we're proposing the things that we are. We, well, another, not as severe as the credit cards, but... Uh, you know, it's it's consumer debt nonetheless. It's non-deductible, meaning you're not getting a tax deduction for the interest for this. Is the loan is the auto loan. Um, now it's at a lower rate, um, but this is still uh, this is still a loan that we really don't need because we have the assets to pay it off. Therefore, we're suggesting that you pay it off. Um, this section is on page 11. We're suggesting you pay this off. Um, Again, immediately, just as we are with the, with the credit cards, uh, with the credit card balances, we're going to pay it off with the cash. Again, it, once you pay all these balances that we're proposing, you pay off immediately. You'll be down to a three-month emergency fund. Um, we'll build that back up, but just to let you know, that's where we're going. Um, it's not going to tap you out. Uh, we're, we're not we're not going to give you zero cash, but we've got to get these these debts paid off. I mean, that's that's really the, the the thing we're, we're recommending the most um, at this point for these for these balances. Um, now, also though, you know, so we pay off the auto loan, and I know you've mentioned that you don't want to pay it off because you anticipate always having a loan. Well, why? You know, the, I guess the question is why would you always have an auto loan? Um, what you what we're proposing instead is that. Um, that you save currently for your next auto so that you don't have to go into debt to get a new um, car, which inevitably you'll have to replace your cars. Everybody does. They don't last forever. 
We're also, though, proposing that you keep your car from when you buy it new um, for 12 years. Uh, now, that may seem high, but cars nowadays, they're pretty good quality. They can do that, provided you get a good, um, solid car uh, that Consumer Reports you know, stands behind. Um, so, you know, we're saying 12 years. That way you can get the value out of it, out of it and... Um, and, uh, you know, you can use funds to other areas in your financial life. Um, that's really the smart thing to do. That's why we're proposing it, of course. Um, so, uh, again, we, we, we would like you to pay off the auto loan um, for the Ford Taurus. I understand you do not have one for the Nissan, um, the, the minivan. Um, and what we're also proposing then is to uh, to create a savings, uh, a monthly savings amount for each uh, new car you're going to buy to replace. Number one, the Ford Taurus. Number two, the Nissan Quest. Um, what we're going to start with the savings uh, account for the uh, Ford Taurus is the Sagebrush um, investment, the non-retirement fund that you currently have. Uh, that's really I gotta tell you that that investment is going nowhere. Um, it's not as good as some of the other funds, and really, um, that would do better to uh, begin saving for for your next car. Um, so we're asking that you begin the savings for for the, the replacement for the Ford Taurus um, with a Sagebrush account. Um, now, with that, we uh, we calculate that you're gonna only. It's only going to be 86 bucks a month um, in order to save for, for your replacement for the Ford Taurus. Um, uh, so that's, that's, you know, instead of incurring auto loan debt, um, it's a good way to get, you know, get, uh, get, to, um, get to a new car without, uh, without going into debt. Same thing for the Nissan Quest, but we're suggesting you start it off with the Ruth Fund again. An investment that's really not doing well um, for you as it currently is invested. We think that we it should go probably to uh, uh, to begin the savings for the Nissan Quest. Um, the Nissan Quest it's a, it's a little more expensive of a car as a result. The monthly saving um, to um, to replace this car in the future is going to be 137 bucks a month. We have built this all into the plan, um, so. Uh, you know, at the end of the time, you'll be able to buy, replace the Nissan Quest with a new car with the savings that you will have accrued during this time, and you won't incur an auto loan. It's really, um, it, it's really the best way to go about um, uh, getting and, and using automobiles. All right, um, so your home mortgage, now you asked um, for an analysis of your home mortgage, and we are 